In this video, I'm going to show you step-by-step -step instructions on how to replace the home button on the iPhone 7. The same rules apply for the iPhone 8 and 8 Plus as well, although a slightly different part might be required. The funny thing about these repairs is that you can't swap this button for another like-for-like -like part without one of these things. I'm going to be using a pulled button from another iPhone 7 and then attaching this little tag-on flex from JC, which means that it will function normally. To begin the repair, let's power down the device. Then use a pentalobe screwdriver to remove the two bottom screws either side of the lightning connector. I'm going to take a single-sided razor blade now and create a small gap in between the plastic bezel of the screen and the chassis of the phone. And I'm just going to pry it upwards on this right-hand side of the screen, creating a slightly larger gap big enough now to fit the plastic guitar pick into. And then we're going to just slide it along, only inserting it a couple of millimetres Enough so that we can break the seal on this one. All the way around the three edges, so the right side, bottom side and left side. Then you'll find that you can lift it up, give it a little wiggle, and then it'll open just like opening a book from the back cover. It's a good idea at this point to pop a weighted object behind the screen so it doesn't fall over while you're working inside the phone. A mug is usually good for this, although I've got this little PCB holder here. Next, we're going to disconnect the power and remove the screen from the phone. So we need to remove these four tri-wing screws holding down this L-shaped bracket just here. Then we use tweezers to lift up that shield. Sometimes the battery will be stuck down to the back of the shield and we'll come alongside it. If it doesn't pop off with the battery, just take a plastic spudger and disconnect that flex cable to isolate power from the device. We can now remove this cable here for the screen and then the one underneath it for the home button. Moving up to the top of the phone, there's another little bracket here, what's held down by two crosshead screws. Remove those two screws and store them safely for later. Then use your tweezers to remove the shield. And finally, that plastic spudger again to disconnect this flex cable here. This means that we can now remove the screen from the phone. You might find some of the adhesive comes alongside it, but we'll replace that later. We'll put the chassis to one side now. It's a good idea to inspect this little flex cable here for damage, but I can see that there's no real damage to this one. It looks like the home button function has just failed on it. Now we're going to take the tri-wing screwdriver and remove the four screws that hold down the bracket for the home button. Store those safely for later. Now it's the tweezers again to remove the shield. And I always use the tweezers to disconnect the home button by just sort of prying on it like that. Because this flex cable moves around, it's a little bit awkward to sometimes get with the spudger. I'll use tweezers again to remove the original home button. And the easiest way that I've found to do this is to sort of poke underneath this little bent bit of flex cable here with one part of the tweezers so that we can get underneath it to separate it just like that. A lot of people use heat to loosen that up. But if you use the tweezers in the same way I've just shown you, you'll find that it's a lot easier and quicker to do. This is our broken home button, so we're going to discard that now. Like I said at the beginning of the video, if we just plugged a new home button into there, it wouldn't work, especially if it's a pulled button. So what we're going to do now is remove this back plate from the back of the screen, and that's held down by six more tri-wing screws on either side of the screen. So go ahead and remove those now. And don't forget, if you like repair content just like this, make sure that you subscribe to the channel for more. With those six screws removed, there's just one more crosshead screw up the top here, holding that shield in place. Remove that now. It is stuck down in this area here, so I'm just going to use the flat part of my spudger to get underneath that bit and disconnect it without damaging any of those important cables for the display. We can remove that shield and get it out of the way now. Now, this may look a bit destructive, but what I'm going to do is take some little cutters and I'm going to cut this little flex cable off just there because we don't need that part anymore. And then the same with the other side of the home button flex. So that's this part here. We're just going to cut it off like that because we're going to install a fresh cable where that one was. So this is the JC Universal Return Cable. And it's this one specifically for the iPhone 7. Like I said before, you can get them for the iPhone 8 and 8 Plus models as well as 7 Plus. It comes with this little chip, and this, this is the important thing, this chip here. 
and that's what sort of reprograms it. Peel off this little backing sheet, what comes on them. Now we can lay this new flex cable into position. You've got to thread it underneath the display cable. It's a little bit awkward, especially because it's got adhesive on the back of it. But with a bit of care, you can secure it into place just like that. So this is a pulled iPhone 7 home button. And I'm just going to thread it through and make sure that it sits in position before we put that new backing shield on the back of the screen. So let's lay it down, make sure it's in right, fold it over, and that's lined up nicely and secured down properly. Now we'll come back with that little backing plate, make sure that it holds the cables in place. Then we'll re-secure it into place with those six tri-wing screws. Just as a little side note, this video isn't sponsored by JC or associated with them in any way. I just use this part and I know a lot of people don't know about them. So I thought I'd make this video just to bring some awareness to this fairly common issue. I know it doesn't resolve the touch ID not working after replacement, but it does mean that you get the best functionality of the home button after replacing it. With those six trowing screws in place, there's just that one crosshead screw up in this top area by the ear speaker. And then we'll go back to the bottom now, replace the shield that holds it down, and the four screws. I always go for one in that side and one in this side to make sure that it lines up okay, and then get the two in the middle. We'll put that to one side now. Now I'll just quickly stick a new dust and moisture resistant seal on this one. Then it can be a bit awkward to line this up, especially with it having the new flex cable on, so it's not going to line up perfectly first time. But offer up the cable and secure it down with your finger once it's lined up. Followed by the display cable. And then finally the top flex up here for the ear speaker and front camera. Let's drop the shield back on there now and secure the two screws. It's now safe to reconnect the battery pop the L-shaped bracket on there, and then re-secure those three tri-wing screws, sorry, four tri-wing screws that hold it in place. The longer one of the four goes here. I'll just close it up temporarily and turn it on to test. But for the sake of the video, I will seal it up by securing the top in first, followed by this side. And then I'll also make sure that there's no flex cables snagged in here and seal it up. Don't forget your two bottom screws either side of the lightning connector and you can get them secured down with the pentalobe driver. As you can see we get the unable to activate touch ID message on there however I don't know how well this is going to pick up the sound you actually get original sort of feel home button on this one rather than the aftermarket ones what either press like the old 6s did or ones what like mega tap all the time but this one functions perfectly. Thank you for watching and see you next time.